Thomas Yellie is packed and ready to spend July 4th with family and friends. You can video chat all you want, but um, you're missing a lot of uh, social contact that way. So um, that's the thing I look most forward to, uh, reconnecting with loved ones. AAA predicts 3.5 million people will fly during the holiday weekend, a 164% increase over last year. That will put added stress on TSA security lines that are already short on workers. Airlines are also dealing with staffing issues. Last week, American Airlines announced it would have to cancel up to 80 flights a day through mid-July. The airlines, airports, and the TSA, I think, were all surprised by how quickly travel has rebounded. Airports are expecting passenger numbers to reach levels not seen since the pandemic started, but the vast majority of Americans will reach their destinations by car. More than 43 million people are planning to hit the road, a July 4th holiday record, but drivers may get sticker shock at the pump. Gas prices are at their most expensive since 2014, so the most expensive prices in seven years. Jeanette McGee from AAA says the national average for gas is up 90 cents a gallon compared to July 4th last year. What a difference a year makes, right? We are seeing high travel volumes for the 4th of July holiday, but just high traffic volumes in general. People are getting back to the roads and traveling more. McGee predicts gas is only going higher, possibly another 10 to 20 cents by the end of August.